Hey guys, this is Emma. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today's video, I am going to talk about the things that Kathleen Lass made me buy, but non-beauty related products. I have already done a part one of the series and it's called Kathleen Lass made me buy. It's on my channel and so the first thing is this. This is a crop top from Forever 21. This is what it looks like. It says high fives and good vibes. She wore this in one of her cat chest videos. So when I went to Forever 21, I saw this and it was really cute and Kevin has had it. So I have to have this. So I got it. All right, next, let's talk about candles. These are the two candles that she made me buy and they're actually just one scent. This is Bath and Body Works candle in the smell marshmallow fireside this is this year's packaging which is really pretty and this is like matte i already burned all of it and i think this was like last year's packaging it's just clear i cleaned the bottom i store my makeup brushes in it and the fragrance notes are toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber so but yeah i burned through two of these and i'm probably going to repurchase because it smells so good the next thing that she made me buy is this flower balm i actually got this at the vib sale this year which is like last week or two weeks ago but this is like a travel size of the flower balm perfume by victor and roth so the actual little perfume bottle looks like this and you get uh, a refill thing and then this is like a thing that you can put in here so pour the perfume through this so it doesn't spill this is a very girly scent this reminds me of the scent that like a sorority girl would wear if, is that bad i don't know but yeah it smells like it's sweet it's a sweet floral scent i don't know if you guys know about this but i have an obsession of beanie perfumes like i like uh, mini bottles like this this is just like very pleasing to me so i have this i have like some from nest perfume i have like a dior mini size i just like to collect perfume because how often do you go through a full bottle of perfume look how pretty next thing is this glossier lip balm this is coconutbalm.com this i actually didn't purchase this my friend jason he gave me this as a gift and I also have the original scent of this, but I prefer the coconut one. It is very thick and moisturizing and I put it on my lips before I go to sleep. And the next day when I wake up, it's very soft. But I don't know if this is worth it. This is kind of expensive. Alright, so the next things. My camera is a little bit tilted. Hold on, let's fix this. Is this better? Okay. Brittany just texted me, so that sounds good all right so the first face wash is this purity made simple purity one step facial cleanser i like this in the beginning like the first this small bottle that i purchased i loved it but then i used it too much to the point that i start to not like it and like it starts to not work as well Right now, I don't like this. I use the rest of it to clean my brushes because I'm like so over this face wash. And the next thing is this Dermalogica. Wait. And the next thing is this Derma Doctor Kakadusi. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I got this at Ulta. And this is another face wash that she was recommending in her skincare routine. Um, I really like this. This is their brightening daily cleanser with vitamin C, A, and AHAs. So I think this cleans my skin really well. So I normally just use a makeup remover to wipe off my makeup off, wipe my makeup off, and then I use a cleanser to do the second time cleaning. This takes off the residue really well, and I use this. I actually in the morning I don't use face wash, but sometimes if I feel like I need to, I use face wash. But I only use this at night, and it cleans my skin really well. I don't really notice the dramatic difference i don't feel like my skin's like brighter or whatever the next two things are these this is the saint eve's i have two this is saint eve's face scrub this one i think this one is the one that she has the blackhead 
clearing green tea scrub and both of these has salicylic acid so if you're pregnant or like if you're not alert if you're allergic just don't use salicylic acid on your skin she prefers the green tea one but i prefer the apricot one the scrub in this thing is bigger than this and these are really affordable i think this is like three dollars so i really really like it i think i also think this clears my skin a little bit all right so the next thing is this health and beauty indian healing clay mask so this is a powder mask this is this is what it looks like every time you use it it scoops some powder out and then mix it with apple cider vinegar and water uh, and blend it and then put it on your face and this when it dries it sucks everything from your pores but i have dry oh dang i forgot to mention what skin type i have so i have normal dry dry Yeah, this is the face pack. I feel like since I have dry skin or like normal to dry skin, this kind of dries out my skin a little bit. Um, but it does really clean your skin really well. So if you have oily skin, I would recommend this. But if you have dry skin or like normal to dry skin, don't. Um, the next thing is this Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I have the shade Dark. Um, from medium to dark to skin tones and this is not the two hour one this is just like an overnight one i really like it um i don't know it kind of it kind of actually does make me look a little just a little bit orange but um when i when this fades off it's very beautiful so in summer i use this every two weeks because it makes me tanner and I believe Jaclyn Hill was also talking about Loving Tan. I think every YouTuber really likes Loving Tan products. I like it. It's pretty good. Um, I don't really notice anything bad about it because I've never tried any other tanning lotion. Well, actually, I tried the Saint Tropez one. It, it makes me orange. I like this one better. This is just a little bit expensive and I don't know when it expires. So I don't know how long this is going to last me. The last thing I want to talk about is this H&M nail polish. So this is in the shade Raw Set Spice. I think this is kind of almost like dual chrome, but the brush looks like the brush is very thick. It's very easy to apply. It's very opaque. Um, I don't know if they still make this shade anymore. Their shade is very shady. Like, so that is all for what Kathleen Lights make me buy. Part two skincare scents, candles perfume if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video